Um, please um, introduce yourself and tell us a bit about the projects that you're currently working on. Sure. I'm Marin Coleman, and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for HAPE with Digimental Studio. And Matt's um, the founder here with me. So I work for him, actually, and for the project. It's a unique collection of 8,192 NFTs, um, digital fashion operating at the intersection of music, fashion, and culture. Well, it's, it's been very well said, you know. Uh, we're trying to change the world of the digital fashion in general. Uh, we curate our digital boutique and want to onboard more people in the space through the fashion and the traditional ways. That sounds fantastic. Thank you so much. How did you actually start in this space? Uh, so uh, I'll start it. As, as, as a digital artist, it's not, it, was, it wasn't impossible to actually ignore NFT trend and uh, the, the, the new stuff, actually like the NFTs, the tokens, you know. Um, it was a new phenomenal space, right? You know, when you, when you, when you can enter and unknown is happening, obviously COVID uh, was amplifier and the accelerator for, for all of the growth of, 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 of Web3 and, and NFT. But for me, it's just like, as a digital artist, I wanted, I wanted to be in. I wanted to contribute in some of the way. Um, I didn't know what it's going to be. We found ourselves having a hate. I came from a very different perspective. I'm a business strategist, commercial uh, strategy and marketer, and met uh, Matt through an, our CTO and managing director as well. And I'd been watching digital fashion for some time ha has that trend emerge. And um, one fell in love with the project and also the artwork in particular. And I love how it also brings together um, immersive experiences in real life communities, our holder community and the individuals that own our NFTs also come together um, for events, experiences with our brand partners as well. So it's kind of bringing together music, fashion, culture, lifestyle. So it's a new type of brand building. Um, that I find really fascinating. And um, how do you see the Web3 space evolving? That's quite of a big question, isn't it? I know. Uh, uh, it's, it's a big question. The Web3 space is going to evolve in general. Uh, the trend, as we see now, uh, NFT, so-called the digital art, it's going to be there. But at the same time, we'll be watching something called the biometrics NFTs, you know, where the big brands start to use more of the blockchain technology itself. So it's all about uh, them onboarding more people in a mainstream way without letting people actually know they're doing a Web3. You kind of answered this question, but quickly, oh, just to elaborate a little bit more. How do you, um, what trends also do you see in the Web3 space as a result of the kind of stuff that you're doing at the moment, which is so interesting. Yeah, and certainly, so we, as we are operating in fashion with both digital assets and also physical products, so that link between ownership of something physical and having it represented on the blockchain, that ownership um, with a token and being able to transfer that, and also that bringing or unlocking value through more engaging experiences with brands, so definitely deepening the relationship with brands through reward, loyalty, experience, but all transferred and represented on the blockchain um, is definitely going to continue. I mean, I think a lot of brands, and certainly we are as well, just testing and learning. I don't think anyone knows exactly how it's going to develop. It's about finding use cases that um, you can gain traction with, learning, tweaking those, um, and understanding what the consumer wants and how they're enjoying it. And that, you know, I don't know. Anyone that tells you they know where it's going to be in five years, I think, is probably lying. <laughs> and also in this uh, digital, digital world, physical to digital, the new trend that we're seeing that actually comes from the Web3 to the real world is making the products more authentic, you know, assigning the certificates to something which is physical, so it works in a similar way, you know, to, uh, to the Web3 digital equivalent product. And this is the question that I am I mean, really, really interested in, only because I see myself as well. Um, anyone who's not in this space, when I say in this space, the Web3 space, how do they get started? How do they really get, what's the entry point? Because we're all new here, we're all learning. Um, but if someone's looking, watching this right now and thinking, I really want to get involved in Web3, what do I do? How do I get started? What, would, what kind of advice would you give them? That's a good question. Um, so, well, first of all, I would say don't be intimidated. Um, 
no one is an expert and it hasn't really been around for so long. So you can learn and pick up um, and become quite current in what's happening fairly quickly just by um, the algorithm will chase you around. If you start reading articles on Web3, NFT, you'll start being served more and more and just starting kind of paying attention to what's going on and you'll start to see the trends. Um, in terms of participating, I think, I mean, really, people are already in a Web3 metaverse without knowing it. Oftentimes they're communicating with their friends and contacts without ever seeing them chatting through all the various means of communication. Web3 isn't that much different. It's just utilizing um, technology to kind of empower ownership and unlock payments and transfers. So it's it's um, kind of a mindset and an ethos that you start to kind of, aha, now I get it. But starting, you can, um, it's not that complicated if you want to be owning something. Look at MetaMask, get your wallet set up. Um, there's lots of online tutorials that we'll talk you through. There's loads of YouTube experts that will walk you through those. Um, and I guess just, yeah, don't be intimidated. Um, no one is really an expert, is what I would say. <laughs> and any, any final words? Um, stay hape. Stay hape. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.